I want to welcome you to my channel. I call it Life in the God Lane. You know what? I just got back from the beach and I got myself a new old guy's rule hat. So I, you'll see this new hat from time to time. I hope you will subscribe to my channel and I hope you'll share this video with other people. It's going to take us into God's word and it can change people's lives forever. So I hope you'll share this with someone else. Give me a thumbs up, make comments, pray, ask God to use these videos to have an impact on people's lives. And we're going to take a look today at a message that I call a skid proof belief. Back in 1972, my sister Kenna and I went on a mission trip to work with a Native American tribe in the, in the town of Toppenish, Washington. This was a trip with a college career group from our church in Phoenix, Arizona. This is the first year I was out of the army. I began walking with the Lord. I wanted to go on a mission trip and this came up and our college career group participated in it. This is the, the trip where I fell in love with Becky and, and uh, while we were on that trip, she was on it too. And we've been married now for 48 years. This is where I found Becky and where she found me. We, we all lived for about six weeks, I think it was, in an upstairs room in this gym. And we had to go up this steep flight of stairs to get to our quarters. And we had to come down, go to the kitchen to uh, cook dinners and that kind of stuff. But my, my sister was coming down the stairs one day and she was in front of me and her feet skidded on a step and then went down the next step and skidded and kept skidding on, on steps. And she skidded on about 10 steps and got to the back, stayed on her feet, didn't fall down. She just kept skidding off of one step onto the next. She wobbled when she got down to the bottom, but she didn't fall over, she kept standing. It's the strangest thing I've seen in, in 72 years. And my own sister did it. Now I wanna show you a belief that will not skid and it won't wobble. It's steady. It never changes. It's, it's a wonderful, wonderful thing. We're going to look at John 3, 16 through 21, a very well-known passage. I'm going to make three points, and it's a profound passage of Scripture, and I think it'll change your life. Look at John chapter 3, verse 16. This is the first point, probably the best-known verse in the Bible. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. And my first point is this, an active belief in Jesus results in eternal life. And I'm talking about an active belief in Jesus. And I'm gonna define that for you. The word for believe is often translated faith. It's kind of the root, root word is the same. And, um, and it's not, this is not a passive word. It is an active word. Belief is something you participate in and is more, much more than ascending to a thing mentally. It's not just believing something in your head. It goes far deeper than that. When you participate in an active belief in Jesus, God's Son, God, God's only Son, the result is eternal life. And eternal life begins now when you put your faith and trust in Jesus, an active belief, and it never ends. It just keeps on going. It never stops. You live forever. That's the point. Why? Well, because God loved you so much that he paid for your sin by giving his one and only son to die on a cross for you. He sent his son to die as our substitute at our execution for our sin. When we begin living life by believing in Jesus actively, we are guaranteed eternal life. Our belief in Jesus that, that is active guarantees us eternal life because of what Jesus paid at the cross. Believing in Jesus does not just mean that you go to church every now and then, go to a worship service, go to a Bible class, something like that. It goes far deeper than that. It should affect every part of your life. It means that you actively believe in and trust Jesus in all your activities each day. You make him a part of your life as your Lord, as the Lord of your life. You get out of bed and begin to trust your day to Jesus. You ask for his involvement with your work, your family, your leisure activities. You want Jesus involved and he wants to be involved. That's actively believing in Jesus. That's what we're talking about. Think of it like this. Okay, just think of it like doing what I'm going to describe here. When you wake up, open a prayer door 
to heaven while you're laying there in bed and actively begin trusting that day to Jesus. And do that throughout the day. Leave the prayer, prayer door open and keep involving Jesus in your life. And when you lay your head down on a pillow at night, don't close the door. Leave it open in active belief as you go to sleep. Involve Jesus in everything you do, even your sleep. This kind of active belief, trusting Jesus in every part of your life, making him the Lord over all of your life, results in eternal life. Remember, it begins now and it never stops. It just keeps on going. And you are eternally skid-proof because of what Christ paid for you on the cross. You'll be steady. You won't even wobble. There's a second point, John 3, 17 and 18. It says this, For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but to save the world through him. Whoever believes in him is not condemned, but whoever does not believe stands condemned already because he has not believed in the name of God's one and only Son. Active believing in Jesus saves you from condemnation. God didn't send Jesus to condemn people. A lot of people think he did. He did not. He is not the cosmic killjoy sent to capture us sinning, catch us sinning somehow. He just not he is not that. He came to save those who operate life by believing in Jesus. Open that belief door when you get up out of bed each day and function out of that belief door every moment of every day and leave it open when you go to sleep. Live your life believing in Jesus and involving him in everything you do. Actively believing in Jesus guarantees that you are not condemned. There are only two kinds of people in the world, folks. Only two kinds of people on earth. First are those who operate life by believing in Jesus. They are not condemned, okay? That means that what Jesus paid at that cross guarantees, guarantees that they're headed for heaven. The only other folks on earth are those who do not operate life by an, by an active belief in Jesus. They're condemned. That means that they are, they are guaranteed a one-way trip, yep, to hell. That's what it means. Actively believe in Jesus, and you have the guarantee of, the, of a one-way trip to heaven. When you die here, you just wake up in heaven. And we're all going to die here someday, but you just wake up in heaven. You really, you never stop living. You just wake up with the Lord and rest with him. You will not skid on the way, and you won't wobble when you get there. John 3, 19 through 21 is the third point. John 3, 19 through 21 says this. This is the verdict. Light has come into the world, but men loved darkness instead of light because their deeds were evil. Everyone who does evil hates the light and will not come into the light for fear his deeds will be exposed. But whoever lives by the truth comes into the light so that it may be seen plainly that what he has done has been done through God. Active believing in Jesus guarantees the verdict. Light came into the world when Jesus came. Jesus is the light of the world. And when he came, light came into the world. People who have an active belief in Jesus are, guess what? They're in that light of Jesus. When you live by an active belief in Jesus, you come into him, and he is the light. And when you operate by that active belief in him, you are in the light, and you live the truth, and the truth ultimately is Jesus. You live by the truth. He created everything. All truth originated with him. And you live in his light, in him who is the light. You live in him. Active believing in Jesus guarantees that your deeds have been done through God. Now think about what that means. It guarantees that your deeds have been done through God. In other words, he creates good deeds in you. He works from the inside out by the power of the Holy Spirit. You live in the light. Light stands for good. And God creates good deeds in your life. Not operating by believing in Jesus assures 
that a person loves darkness, and guess what? Their deeds will be dark. Their deeds will be evil. The verdict is that the one actively believing in Jesus has deeds redone by God. Done by God new. Their life is changed to deeds of light and goodness. God makes that change in you. He does it in the power of the Holy Spirit. Those not of faith are guaranteed the verdict of darkness and evil deeds. It's about choices. The choice to operate in an active belief renders a verdict of deeds redone by God. He changes your life from the inside out and turns it into good stuff. The non-active belief guarantees the verdict of evil deeds. That's how lives get changed. That's how, people, that's how people clean up their lives. I've been through that. I understand that. The verdict is that the active belief life ends up in godly deeds. You won't skid off into evil deeds. You won't wobble. You'll be doing godly deeds. This does not mean that you will never sin. It does mean that your life will not skid down the steps into total ungodliness. In fact, you'll start getting better all the time. Active believing in Jesus guarantees you will not skid away from eternal life. Guarantees that. It guarantees you won't skid into condemnation. And it guarantees you will not skid off into evil behavior, but that your deeds will be godly because God remakes you from the inside out. Open your believing in Jesus door when you get up every day. Leave it open throughout your day and don't shut it when you go to sleep at night. It is a skid-proof belief. Live that way. Be absolutely life transformational. Let's pray. Father, teach us to live an active believing in Jesus every day. Help us to walk with him. And I know he'll walk with us when we choose to walk with him. So give us that kind of insight and trust in him. And then change our lives Make us new. Thank you for the gift of eternal life through Jesus. Thank you for the promise that we will not be condemned and for the promise that you will change us from the inside out and make our deeds godly. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Hope you'll uh, subscribe to this channel. Share this video with other people. Can really help them. Give me thumbs up. Pray. Ask God to use my channel and make comments. I uh, will see you in a couple of days for the kind of the weekend message. I do that on Thursday usually. God bless you. Have a great rest of the week.